Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams from Python Bytes, and this is the second tutorial on how to use WX Python sizers. And the one that we're learning about is the box sizer. So, in the previous tutorial, I said that I'll be using XRC Add because I, I think this program is the best to visually explain how to use sizers. When you start designing a GUI, uh, what I do is I start a template, you could say. So I'll explain how I do that. The template is that you add a frame. So call that frame main title uh, box sizer tutorial. Okay, and I'll make that, I think it was 300 by 200. Okay, so now we have our frame. Uh, before we can attach anything to the frame, we need to use a box sizer. We add a box sizer, and as you notice, all it has is the attribute, attributes, orientation, horizontal, vertical. Now we want to add a, another box sizer. Now remember the previous tutorial, we had a box sizer. Now we're adding widgets using sizer items. So this is our first sizer item. Now we want to set it. One, proportion means we want it to fill the whole frame. Border is zero. If we have a border, when we put the panel on this, if we set the border at 5 pixels, then there'll be a gap around the edge of the frame. We don't want to do that. And we go expand. Okay, so that will fill the whole frame. Now we can add our panel. And once again, okay, put here panel uh, main. Size is 300 by 200. Okay, and now the uh, this box sizer, we have a box sizer, and then this box sizer or sizer item, we are adding a panel. Okay, and now we have to give the sizer item for the panel. We want to give it a proportion of 1, 0, go expand, we want to expand so that the panel fills the whole frame. Then we add another box sizer. Now you notice there is no sizer item like there is in this one. So now because we have the panel which is filling the whole screen it's just a box size it. So we have to add another one so we can insert sizer items here as you can see. Once again proportion is 1, border is 0 and we will expand that. Okay. Now this is the building block of your application if you're using a frame. This is the template. Now notice that the orientation here is vertical. That one's vertical, vertical, vertical. Now you have the option to change it horizontal. Notice how the icon changed to horizontal. The way that I do it is all of these box sizes here are vertical. Anything else that you add below it, it can be horizontal or vertical. You don't want to alter this template. Okay, so I will save that and I'll put a frame template. Okay, and that is an XRC file. Alright, now here, here we go. To test our design, we press F5 and to close it. Okay, so you have to go to the frame. 
so that when you run this it'll include all of these widgets here we go so there is our panel and that's it okay so that is the template so I'll leave the tutorial here so now that we have our template the next tutorial will uh, we'll be starting to build a GUI using box sizes. If you have any questions or you want to leave a comment, leave them below this video on YouTube and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. That way, when new videos are uploaded to YouTube, you'll be notified when they're available and you can continue to watch the videos that I provide for you. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Till the next tutorial, goodbye.